Hi everyone, my name is Leal and I am asking you to take a moment to consider subscribing to our channel The Pulp Report, where we deliver daily videos covering everything about films and entertainment. What's up guys, we are here to talk about the newest Tom Ford film, Nocturnal Animals, which has hit the box office this weekend. So the movie plays out, Amy Adams gets a manuscript from her ex-husband, who is played by Jake Gyllenhaal, and it's entitled Nocturnal Animals. So, we, uh, well, first of all, the in the opening credits for this movie, uh, I'll just say it's different. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, just, uh, be on your toes. But back to the story. So, Gyllenhaal sends Amy Adams, his character, a manuscript for his newest novel, saying it's something different than he what he used to write in their relationship. So now um, it's one of those movies where it's a story within a story. So, so once she starts reading the manuscript, we actually get to see what is in the novel. It's her interpretation of what is going on in this story. And it's this just brutal crime story. Uh, we meet Aaron Taylor Johnson's character, who is just straight up an evil dude. And, you know, some bad things go on with him and Jake Gyllenhaal's family. Uh, so as we're seeing this, we're also following Amy Adams, both in her present life and in flashbacks where she first gets into a relationship with Gyllenhaal. And we kind of see what transpired there, why he was inspired to write this dark novel. And of course, you know, all the pieces come together in the final act. This is a really interesting movie, and it's it's something really different, you know, even though there's been stories where, you know, there's time lapses and all this, and we see, you know, multiple stories at, in one movie, uh, just there, something stands out about this one, where it's, it's much more unique. The cinematography, as you would expect, you know, Tom Ford coming from the fashion world is, is really, really strong. I, it, this, every scene looks great and the performances were all very very strong uh michael shannon comes in as the sheriff in the manuscript part of the movie and you know he's always great in whatever he does aaron taylor johnson was fantastic in this movie i think him and shannon are going to be kind of in contention for a supporting actor nod i think um we'll see i was more impressed with aaron taylor johnson a lot of people saying Michael Shannon will get that spot, but we'll we'll see. Uh, Gyllenhaal was really strong, essentially playing, albeit similar people. He, he does play two different characters in this movie. Yeah, just really strong stuff. As far as, you know, complaints or any criticism I had toward this film, uh, I think there was a, a couple loose ends that we never really saw resolved in this. And I'm, I'm not going to give away the ending, obviously, but the ending was one of those leave it up to the viewer subjective kind of endings and which i think really it they either work or they kind of leave you disappointed i'll say this i was i left the theater kind of like a little a little bit uh disappointed because i was like with the story the whole time and then i kind of wanted to see it wrap up just a little more uh, concisely but you know as I thought about it, you know, c coming home from the theater and really kind of tried to digest it, you know, it, I don't feel as sour on it as I was when I was first leaving the theater. But, I mean, that being said, it's definitely one of my favorite movies of the year. And also a lot of people, you know, saying this isn't a movie to go out and enjoy a, a movie with your buddies or whatever. I, I kind of disagree with that. I think it's a very fun movie to watch. I mean, not to sound, you know, demented because it's a very dark movie but it's it's just a uh, it's fun it's almost fun to watch you know you because of its format and you keep trying to guess you know what's coming next and there's some you know there's some good twists and turns in this movie so i was very impressed with it my most valuable talent is going to go to aaron taylor johnson who i i would assume he's kind of a method actor just by this performance and other performances i've seen he's he be really becomes a character, so, I mean, he's just straight up, there's no 
redeeming this character, even though there's like dark comedy spots with him, but he's overall just very, very despicable, unlikable guy, and I thought he played it to perfection. So my score out of 10 is going to be an 8.1, just a hair above an 8, and as I say, one of my favorite movies of the year, we'll see with, so we'll see where it ends up on my total rankings at the end of the year, but as for now, that was Nocturnal Animals, I definitely recommend checking it out, and if you're going to, you know, do it before this weekend when we have Rogue One, La La Land, and Collateral Beauty all opening, so get out to the theater, you know, this week, and uh, check out Nocturnal Animals, thanks guys, I'm Justin, deuces. Thank you, and we are looking forward to get to know you right here on the Pulp Report.